what up what up what up it is tuesday november 5th the highly anticipated election day finally after so much talk about it all these weeks over the weekend i was in the battleground state of north carolina in robinson county a rural area about an hour and a half away from raleigh that is the state's largest county by land area the population is just over 117,000 as of July 2023. Democratic nominee Kamala Harris and the Republican National Convention have offices in Robinson that are across a parking lot from each other. I went to both during my visit. Both Trump and Harris have been wooing rural voters and Robinson is one of particular interest because it was a Democratic stronghold for decades before voting for Trump in 2016. The county backed him a second time in 2020, and Trump also won North Carolina overall in both of these elections, but only by 1.3% in 2020. Which way will Robinson County and the state go in 24 is the question I asked both Republicans and Democrats. They each picked their side to win both, but only the results will tell. Trump has cast doubt on election security. I went to a polling site next to the Robinson County Board of Elections and chatted with volunteer Kizzy Thompson about her efforts to help maintain election security. There's a huge conversation right now about election integrity, election security. What are you doing to confirm that those things are upheld? Okay, so the organization that we are with, we're actually going through training. It's a required two-hour training that we go through. We have support, we have different monitors, and we have different people going around making sure we're going. So we have a clipboard, we check around, we monitor the sites, and we follow the guidelines. Some of the guidelines we know where certain people can be, where they can stay and not to stay. And if someone do not feel comfortable, they can come to us and make an anonymous claim or statement saying, hey, this is what happened, what can we do? Election integrity is often questioned when the results are not available on election night, which is likely to happen this year. Thompson said a secure process takes time. When do you think the election will be decided? Tuesday night or Thursday or Friday? Well, that's what they were saying. You know, there's several protocols they have to go to. You have to do the provision votes. You have to do that. I'm sure I have faith in Robinson County um, Board of Election following the protocol. And as soon as they're ready, as soon as they do the protocol, they'll announce the winners. So, there are some doubts when the results aren't available right on Election Day. Um, what do you say to those people who, when the results may be announced Thursday or Friday or whenever they become available, who then may question the results because of that time difference? And I understand that, and that's a realistic um, concern. However, we have mail imbalance, you have different protocols, and do you have up to the November the 14th to do a voting provision? So you have to remember there's more rights than some the instant gratification of getting your votes, and we don't want to take anyone rights away. But have faith in your system, and like I said, if you see something, report something. If you don't feel safe, report something, because if we can't assist you, if you do not tell the people that's um, designated to assist you with your vote. Trump did his last bit of campaigning in the state yesterday in Raleigh, and over the weekend, he was in Greensboro and a couple other places. Harris had a rally in Charlotte on Saturday. All right, they've made their cases, and now voters will decide who is the next president of the United States. For Reporter with Randy Richardson, that's it. That's all I got for you. Thanks for watching, and have a great election day.